Okay, welcome to Aftermath TV, everyone. Digital TV, Caroline Schved here with the boys. And we're going to talk about Matt Riddle joining SmackDown today and which superstars we would like to see uh, leave one brand and head to another. So that's my question for you guys. Go. Well, for me, I'm going a little bit outside the box here. And I would like to see a Drew Gulak who's currently on the SmackDown brand. I don't mind him paired with Daniel Bryan. That's kind of a nice little pairing. But if he were to move laterally, not back to NXT, but laterally back to NXT, I'm saying back, not as a step back, as in that's where he came from. Uh, I think that would be a perfect fit for him because his style meshes perfectly with the presentation of NXT. Um, it's, it's, a, it's a little more substance and less flash and, and he's able to do a bit of everything, but at the same time, I think he can elevate himself in that environment and elevate others as well and possibly become NXT champion and really shine in that environment. Yeah, it's great that Daniel Bryan and Drew Gulak found each other and they're having a lot of fun with these classic fundamental wrestling matches, but you can't concentrate that stuff. You got to spread that out. You know, you got to go make them mesh with other people and hopefully, you know, along that continuum of, Lucha Libre and Drew Gulak. We need a little more towards the Drew Gulak. And uh, Gulak is like a Swiss Army Knife competitor. He's great in the ring, but he's hilarious on the microphone when given the chance. And if he could go back to NXT and like r return to NXT and spread that around with some of the talent that's there, everybody can learn the fundamentals again, the basics. Everybody can learn how to be great on the microphone. So anybody that works with him would have a little bit of that rub off on them. I think it's a great idea. I just like saying gulak. 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 It sounds like a nice, a, a nice European dish that you should. Is it what to say? Yeah. Yeah. Well, we were talking <laughs> gulak earlier. tonight. <laughs> gulak. Yeah, Hungarian gulak. Uh, we were talking earlier about uh, Matt Riddle and the fact that he's coming to uh, SmackDown, and I just think it's it's been a long time. Well, not that long, but that you get excited about fantasizing about the matchups the potential matchups when he's now on a roster and he has access to all these other wrestlers. So there's definitely something different about him. Um, his background is perfect for where, where he's, you know, where he is. And, uh, and then there's kind of strange personality, but it seems like, you know, it's him. That's him. So I'm looking forward to seeing what he's going to do on SmackDown. I like, the, I like the fact that you refer to him as a strange personality and uh, having the pleasure of meeting him, uh, yes, you're right. That is him. I'm only waiting for the, the one time he has a match on SmackDown and some guy walks in and says, who ordered the large double cheese with pepperoni? <laughs> and it's like, right, the match stops. He's like, hold on, time out. That was me, dude. You know. He is Spicoli. He's 100% yeah. Spicoli. I love Matt Riddle. I think he's awesome. Everything about him. Bro vibes, the hair, what he wears in the ring, mm. flipping off his flip-flops, all of it. I, I can't abs. get enough. Pretty good Not abs. bad. You don't notice those. Jealous of the hair. Yes. Good hair. Yeah. He's just, he's, he's a fun guy to watch. Okay. For me, there's no surprise here, but it's like, get Ronda Rousey back in the raw women's title picture. Uh, I don't know if that really is an answer to this specific question, but I'm going to make that my answer. But there's so much going on right now with Oscar, Nia Jax, Kyrie Sane, Shayna Baszler, that I think if Ronda Rousey came back on Raw, it would just erupt. And I'm waiting for it. And I hope that it comes, like, I hope we're blindsided by it. I hope no one sees the episode or the pay-per-view that it's, it, it's going to happen. Uh, and I'm going to just put it out there that it is going to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm honestly talking like it's, it's going to happen in the future. So that's what I would love to see. I would love to see her you know, hold the Raw Women's title again and uh, then, you know, maybe see what, what Charlotte Flair does and, and all that stuff. I feel like only good can come out of it. Yeah, that's where's Baba Tunde, man? That, he's that, there? Yeah, but he's been, like, seems like he's been ready to be called up for so long. I don't know what they're waiting for. Uh, there might be an issue because he's bigger than Braun Strowman, so maybe they don't want to take away from Braun, but he's a big player, just he's a blue chip stock. And cash it in at any time. Uh, Caroline mentioning the women's division, you know, like it could use an injection of some, you know, I mean, it's nice to see who we've got, but it, it, something exciting could happen. We could have Ronda Rousey come back. Uh, it, lately, when Charlotte comes out on, on Raw or SmackDown, she's showing off the belt to the NXT talent that's on the other side of the glass. And two weeks in a row now, I thought Jessamyn Duke was going to come through the glass at Charlotte. Like she 
Jess moves on the right side or left side of Charlotte, stage left, as we say, stage left side of Charlotte. And the first week, and she did this, Duke was going to go. And this week, she was on the other side, and Charlotte went to her specifically. If I could see any of those uh, female competitors out of NXT jump the glass and take out Charlotte, I think that would be great for the women's division. Oh, Jasmine Duke's wicked, man. Oh, yeah. just, she's amazing. And, and who better to get the proverbial rub from than probably the – number one female talent on the roster right now in Charlotte Flair. And yeah. she's so good on the mic. I think she's so hilarious. She's so condescending and sarcastic and like just straight out of a movie like Mean Girls. You know what I mean? In the best possible way. Yeah. I just love yeah. Charlotte right now. She's, I watch her promos and I'm like, I would be terrified of her. Well, as they say, the woo didn't fall far from the tree. No yeah. kidding, man. Yeah. Uh, if I'm going to move somebody from brand to brand, uh, not that they haven't been moved around a lot, but much like Jimmy, I'm moving somebody uh, laterally to NXT. And I'm picking Cesaro. He has oh. been spinning his wheels on the main roster no matter where he goes. He's sort of there, but he's never in a title hunt. He's never in a title picture. He's never in a main rivalry. He's supporting cast. And I think we all know that Cesaro is not supporting cast. He is a star waiting to happen and the trigger has never been pulled. Well, go to NXT, pull that trigger. A lot of guys Ooh. in NXT could use a match with Cesaro to figure out what's wrong with their own game. Oh, I like that. I, I, I really do Perfect. like You know what? I'm trying, to, I, I'm trying to draw, as I like to do, comparisons from the past. And he almost reminds me of uh, what's, uh, a Tito Santana, who flourished early, was intercontinental champion, looked like he was on his way to becoming a big star. And then it was kind of... It, he kind of plateaued and kind of leveled out and, and, and after losing the intercontinental championship, didn't, didn't achieve the same status that he had before. Yeah. But back then there wasn't a different he, brand for him to go to and reestablish it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Tito Santana, he's a teacher. Yeah. But, but he would, you could, there was no denying his talent. Yeah. He was amazing. Yeah. He was really good. And Cesaro kind of reminds me of that is here's a guy who's so talented. I want to see him get to that next level yeah. and i like the fact that he has that downplayed personality you don't got to be boas and glasses and look at me you can come to the ring and just give the audience a little what's up and and, and come to like be prepared to work you know i think it would be refreshing believe it or not well let me tell you something brother no sorry yeah. Right, you know, San Martino's entrances were like that. Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, it's okay. I was just about to say, Aftermath TV fans, don't forget to tell us what you think uh, in the comments of this YouTube video. Of course, on Friday at 12 p.m. Eastern time when we're live on Sportsnet Facebook and YouTube. And of course, on Twitter, just use the hashtag Ask Aftermath. We want to talk to you in every way possible. So keep us posted with what you think, your comments, and hopefully we see you on Friday. Anything yeah. else, boys? No, nah, just, just uh, if you've got any questions for, the, for any one of us, uh, please send it to Ask Aftermath, and we will try to answer your questions live on Friday. Perfect. And uh, honestly, have some fun with uh, who you'd like to swap rosters. Put the entire roster's names in a hat and pull some names out and make your oh. own rosters, and let's see what happens. Oh, Ooh. that would be cool. Perfect. Bye, everyone. Yeah. See you Friday.